What's going on guys? It is your boy Joel TFT here. Welcome back. I had to get with a brand new review for you guys today. Today, I have officially watched for the first time the Spider-Man 90 show episode 1 of season 1, The Night of the Lizard. I'm actually generally excited to talk about this with you guys, honestly, because I do have a couple things to say, but this review might be a little bit short, so I apologize if it is kind of short, because I do just have a couple of basic stuff to talk about for this episode. But before we get straight into it, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm trying to get to 750 before the end of the year and it will really mean a lot if you guys can help me reach that goal but we're also generally very close to hitting 600 subscribers so if you guys want to help me reach that goal instead that would also really mean a lot anywho let's head straight into this spider-man 90 show season one episode one the night of the lizard review so the one thing i do want to say actually is i kind of like the way this spider-man kind of narrates himself in some type of way you know of course we have like conversations here and there and everything but since i feel like the difference with this show and like the x-men show you know and everything spider-man it's by himself you know so there's not much like a lot of characters to diverse when it comes to conversations and everything like that so this episode like i kind of like the narration when it came to the episode it does feel a little bit weird i would say because like especially with me not watching any of the other shows and it's kind of been a while since the last spider-man show i've seen was the ultimate spider-man one with drake bell voicing him i kind of don't remember if he did a lot of narration i know there was like a few episodes that he did honestly but i don't remember if it was like this much that he did narration if that makes sense you know but this was back in the 90s so like i definitely already like used to like it being like a old show if that makes sense because like i've already watched x-men you know i felt like i already dealt with that type of like i wouldn't say energy but i'm gonna say energy just because it's a little easier to think about honestly but i've already dealt with that type of energy so it's like all right i'm watching another show that's based on the same time line if that makes sense so i thought like the whole narration thing it was kind of like not necessarily weird but it was a little bit of discomfort in some type of way but i feel like i could get used to it pretty quickly especially since if this series is going to continue like that you know also really like the one pun that he did he said something about mythaken and that freaking got me dead low-key i was like yo <laughs> like he has like corny jokes and i kind of like it in some type of way kind of reminds me of me a little bit because I do get corny at times. But I like the jokes here and there, you know, in this episode. That, like, this episode had, like, a few, I think. But that one was, like, my highlight, honestly, when it came to this episode. See that Peter is also a little bit of a flirter, you know? But Deborah, hey, Peter, you're going to have to teach me some moves. I ain't going to harm, girl. You're going to have to teach me some moves, man. Other than that, though, because, like, this episode didn't really show too much. Obviously, this was, like, the first episode throughout the whole season. You know, I think at the end of the season, I'll be able to give a, a lot more, especially since I'm watching a lot more episodes and everything. So, definitely, um, I'm excited to watch the rest of the season 100%. Now, I'm watching this show, and I'm watching Too Hot to Handle. So, it's, like, two shows at once that I'm kind of watching, and I, like, I, I should have just finish one series honestly but i wanted to hop onto another one just because like i feel like with x-men 97 they showed a lot of like different type of characters you know and i learned that this show there was like a daredevil show and there's like another show i can't remember at the top of my head right now that they were semi-connected in some type of way which also like that he mentioned the avengers the defenders or hopping through galaxies and everything like that that's what he said in the episode and i was just kind of like oh shoot so they are kind of like established and like the spider-man universe so i thought it was pretty cool to like hear those names honestly in these uh, in this episode but that is going to be my review of the first episode of the spider-man show but yeah i'm excited to see what's coming up for the future honestly when it comes to this you know i gotta shout out my boys alex and austin honestly because they're the ones that kept talking about this honestly and like i generally wanted to watch it but i didn't know if i wanted to watch it right away but then i was like you know what let me just watch it <laughs> but if you guys did uh watch this episode did you guys like it did you guys think it was and or did you guys not like it whatsoever I'd love to start a conversation with you guys peace out my guys to enjoy every day make a video now today everyone stay positive and be positive you guys already know to have a positive mindset peace